Good morning, everybody. So today we are collaborating with VitaGood. So this is the VitaGood Form Fit Digital Scale and Body Analyzer. So I've been using the scale for quite some time now, and a lot of people lately have been asking me, what is that scale that you use? So this scale is super amazing because not only does it measure body weight, but you can also measure body fat, bone density, water weight, muscle mass. So there's many things that you can do and it's also very easy to set up. You can select up to eight users. You can select male, female, male athlete, female athlete. Then you select your height and your age and then you're ready to go. So what the scale does use is a bio impedance analysis, which sends an electrical current throughout the body to collect all of the data. I would also like to point out that the scale does have a higher reading of body fat compared to say the DEXA scan. Back in November, I did have my DEXA scan done and it did come back at 11.7%. The form fit scale did read 20%. But the thing about the scale is that it's very consistent. During my bulking phase, I was able to monitor my body fat as well as my muscle mass. And then during my cutting phase, I was able to see my body fat go down and see where my muscle mass went. So it's an amazing scale so you can save 60% my code ND6. The link will be in the description box down below. So again, a huge thank you to Vita Goods, and now it is time to eat. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. So we are filming another wicked cheat day today and again it's gonna be just a fun cheat day. Last one I did do a 10,000 calorie challenge and I had a lot of people that kind of didn't enjoy the video because like you know I suffered a little bit because I had to force feed to get the calories down and again it was just for a challenge and I like a challenge every once in a while. So we did start at 5-0 donuts today. We did get some amazing, delicious donuts. And so let's just get started. And we're gonna start with the one and only Cronut. All right, my friends, cheers. So sweet, so buttery. So damn delicious. Oh, and they did have Cookie Monsters, and they also did have the Plant City. But, just because a few people are like, you get the same donuts all the time. Again, when I like something, I really like something. So I did switch it up today. We got a uh, few different ones, so I'll uh, be showing you guys that very shortly. Yeah, that was fantastic. All right, next donut. I think I want to go with, maybe we'll do this cake donut. So this is a pumpkin spice cake donut. Again, I'm not a huge fan of cake donuts, but I've been starting to kind of like them and uh, they're kind of growing on me. So this is pumpkin spice cake donut, cheers. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I know it's delicious. That's some good flavor in there. And I love like pumpkin flavored things. As well as like gingerbread, molasses. So, mm. it just has that like unique spice to it. And again, medium iced coffee with cream and sugar. And luckily today, the lady at Dunkin' Donuts did only give me a medium. Every time I order the, the medium, she always gives me a large, but the large is just too big. I never finish it. All right, last bite of the pumpkin spice. Mmm. Woo! All right, moving right along. Three donuts left. We do have a 
coffee toffee. We have a cosmic brownie and a cinnamon toast crunch. I think I'll go for, we'll do the coffee toffee, then the cosmic brownie, because the cosmic brownie is gonna be like super thick and rich. It's like very chocolatey. And then we'll finish it off with the cinnamon toast crunch. All right, so this baby right here is called the toffee coffee. So it's a coffee flavored donut. There's like pieces of toffee, You've got whipped cream, and then one of those, I forget what these things are called. Um, yeah, I totally forgot. But here we go. Cheers to the coffee toffee. Mmm. Then the icing is amazing. Nice and sweet. And then the whipped cream too. I am a huge fan of whipped cream. I think that's what makes the Plant City so good. Because I love strawberry flavored things as well. And then the Plant City with the strawberry frosting, the whipped cream, and fresh strawberries on top. Come on. Alright, two donuts left. So this next one here is called the Cosmic Brownie. And you guys know exactly why. <laughs> you guys have ever had a Cosmic Brownie, so that's what it basically looks like. It does have like these little colored chocolate things on top and then brownie, so let's, uh, let's give it a try. Straight brownie batter inside this thing. Wow, that is super rich. Hmm. Very chocolatey. Oh, and a huge shout out to Paul Felder. Um, he was watching one of my videos during like an interview on YouTube, and a lot of people like shared it's like dude check it out Paul Feld is watching your videos he's on a cut right now and so he does have a fight on September 7th I believe in Dubai so uh, yeah he's been watching my videos during his cut and uh, yeah I just want to say thanks so much bro and um, I'm wishing you the best of luck at your fight and I know you're gonna crush it so cheers brother I gotta move my location because Sun's in my face. Okay, all right, that's, uh, that's a bit better. All right, let's finish off this Cosmic Brownie. All right, the last and final donut. We do have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal on top of a vanilla frosted yeasted donut and then we have a cream cheese ring on top all right cheers that cream cheese frosting is amazing All right, that is the start of the cheat day. The time is currently 8.39 a.m. And so yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit, let some food digest, and I'll check back in with you guys very shortly.
All right, my friends, so we just drove down to Venice, Florida. It was about a 30 minute drive from Sarasota. We just got to a place called Gold Rush Barbecue. Now, I've never been here. I heard the food is super amazing, so I'm super excited to try it out. So let's go inside and get some food. All right, my friends, so after reviewing this large massive menu, I decided that I'm gonna go with the mother load combo so we have a half rack of baby back ribs a quarter pound chicken a quarter pound of pork and a quarter pound of beef and for the sides i decided to go with some barbecue beans mac and cheese and some cornbread All right, my friends, we do have the food. It is 12.55 p.m. And man, there's a lot of food right here. I'm really, really excited. Like, look at this tray right here. It's straight up massive. So we do have barbecue beans. We have mac and cheese, rack of ribs, quarter chicken, cornbread, and half pound of pork. So let's, uh, let's just get, let's get started. I think first I'm gonna go for I'm just gonna go for the chicken first. Check out this thing. Mmm. Wow, that flavor is phenomenal. Juicy white meat chicken. Wow. That was damn tasty. All right. All right so next I think I'm gonna go for the ribs. But before I do continue, if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you guys see me try out this stevia sweet barbecue so they did send me some barbecue sauce like um, a few weeks ago and this stuff is super amazing it's really tasty and it's only 10 calories per serving zero grams of fat two grams of carbohydrates and zero grams of protein so it tastes amazing I'm gonna actually try it on the ribs here so let's give it a go but we'll try a rib by itself first and then I'll try it with the sauce Ooh. This is exactly what I smelled outside when I first got out of my car. All I smelled was like amazing barbecue and it was the ribs. Man, I love, I love barbecue. All right, so we're gonna go with the stevia sweet, the heat. That sauce is on point. Yeah, so it's sweetened with stevia, so it's like a lower carb option. And again, today is a cheat day, so I mean, calories to me don't matter, but it's still a really, really good sauce. I like I like using it on my eggs and meat, of course. Wow, this meal is hitting the spot. Tons of protein here. I gotta make up for the protein I missed this morning with the donuts. Seriously, I think barbecue is like one thing I could never get sick of. It's always a good time for some barbecue food.
Alright, and the last rib. Oh man. I think this is the best piece right here. I mean, all of them are really good, but this one has like a little bit of like more burnt on the end. Like, oh. It just kind of has like, that charred taste. Yeah, this last piece is a great way to end the ribs. All right, so moving right along, I think we're gonna go for the mac and cheese. Let's uh, give it a try. Check that out. Super creamy. Wow. Yeah, so everything so far is really, really tasty. This is a pretty damn big meal too. Mac and cheese done. And now let's try out one of these cornbreads. I don't know about you guys, but I love me some cornbread. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the pork. Wow, super tender, very flavorful, nice and moist. I'll do some of the sweet heat on this baby. Spice it up a little bit. Love me some spicy. Alright, starting to get a little bit full. But let's try out these baked beans. Yeah, and those beans are excellent. They're nice and sweet, solid barbecue flavor, amazing. You a happy camper? Doing well? Very good, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, well, I am pretty satisfied. So, we took down the ribs, the chicken, the beans, the mac and cheese. One of the cornbreads, about half of the pork. So yeah, I'm pretty fully satiated, I'm nice and full. That was an extremely solid meal. And yeah, I will uh, I'll check back with you guys very shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time is currently 5.14 p.m. So after that barbecue meal, I ended up coming home, uploading some footage, and I felt kind of like pretty full. All that protein just kind of really hit me. And I took a little nap, woke up feeling recharged, refreshed, and now I'm kind of craving something like kind of cold and fruity. So I really want like an acai bowl. So I think that's what I'm gonna get. So let's, uh, let's go get one. <laughs> All right guys, check out this acai bowl. Looking super aesthetic. So I did go with the berry bowl. So inside here we do have acai blended with bananas, berries, honey, almond milk, topped with granola, banana, goji berries, and strawberries. Okay, so time for meal number three. It is 5.42 p.m. So we got ourselves a nice acai bowl from Clean Juice. And let's see if I can dig into this thing without spilling anything. that oh, that is so amazing yeah so it was super loud inside there 
So um, I didn't want to eat in there because it's very tough to talk over music, you know? Especially editing and then having to edit out the music. So we are back, I'm like, ah. <laughs> but it's okay. I enjoy it. Acai with some banana. Seriously, any time is a good time for some fruit. But I do have to say, my favorite acai bowl spot is still Bonsai in Huntington Beach. They seriously have the best. Clean juice is pretty good, but so far, uh, Bonsai definitely takes the cake. I really feel like eating a box of those fruit bars that I would always get from Walmart. I just kind of feel like, sometimes on the cheat days, I, I kind of just get like a little dehydrated. Well, I kind of feel like I'm a little dehydrated from the massive amount of food I'm consuming. And so I feel like thirsty and like what I crave is like super cold fruit. So this is definitely satisfying me. Saddest part when it's all gone. All right, well, that was solid. The berry bowl was amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to consume next and I will check back with you guys in a little bit. Wow, it's been quite some time since I've done a daily tray. I'm sorry, I apologize. So we got one in, I'm stoked. All right, now for the final meal. All right, all right, we are back and we did stop at Publix and I got some sushi, I got a cupcake and I got a Coca-Cola. Now I really was craving sushi, so I've never had Publix sushi before. Somebody said it was good, so I'm taking their word for it. So let's try it out. This is basically a little sampler pack. So I believe there is like tuna, salmon, avocado rolls, California rolls, and yeah, it just looks pretty damn delicious. And then over here, we do have a cupcake. I believe this cupcake was called the Happy Place Cupcake. So check that thing out. Looks pretty tasty. I love frosting and vanilla cake. So that should be pretty damn good. So, Let's just get started. All right, I don't have chopsticks. I did forget to get them, but we do have some soy sauce. I have some extra wasabi too. There's not much soy sauce, so I'm just gonna kind of cover these a little bit. All right. We got some wasabi, which uh, Hakari actually sent me. So once again, thank you. Brand new, boom. First piece. Ooh, that wasabi's good. I love wasabi. If you guys been following me for a long time, I used to go to this place called Ming Sushi in New Bedford. It'd be like all you could eat. I'd get a tray, seriously, like, like this big. And I would load it up. I'd get like 13 rolls. It'd, it'd be like an absurd amount of sushi. That's back when I was doing like intermittent fasting, so I'd do like, uh, sometimes I'd do one meal a day, and then um, on my refeed days is when I would go to the sushi restaurant, so that way I could just get in so many carbs for like 20 bucks, which was crazy. Mm. Yeah, this sushi is perfect right now. Not too heavy. Mmm. All right, this one I believe is a California roll. 
So we do have some crab in there. I believe some avocado, cucumber. That is good. Ooh, that's good. Oh, man. Oh, in that skate session earlier, man, I haven't skated in a while. I've just been super busy with like work, editing content, training, nutrition, coaching, doing some modeling jobs. So like I haven't really had time to skate. And man, that like 20 minute, 30 minute session was seriously so much fun. I gotta get back on the daily trays every day. I think I gotta do a sushi mukbang pretty soon. What do you guys think? I definitely enjoy doing the mukbangs, like the big cheat meals. I guess I'm just not very good at doing like themes. <laughs> so there was somebody that told me to do like maybe a breakfast style mukbang. I'm just all breakfast foods. Maybe like a sushi mukbang. So if you guys do have any ideas, Leave them down below, like certain topics I can talk about. Whatever interests you guys, you know, I definitely have a lot of fun filming these videos. And even for the cheat days, I usually just wing it. Like, I don't really plan ahead. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do a cheat day. And I love starting at 5.0. Today, I purposely didn't get the Cookie Monster and the Plant City because I get that every single time. And I love it, but I wanted to just kind of get some different donuts so that way uh, you guys could see more of 5-0. I mean, they were all good, but the Cookie Monster would have been better. <laughs> Man, public sushi, not bad. Oh, and also I did film a podcast yesterday with my homie Anthony Shetler. It was basically an interview talking about, you know, my life, getting into skateboarding, you know, turning professional, traveling the world, breaking my neck, going through what I went through, and then kind of how I got forced into having to learn new things, you know, getting into fitness, getting into modeling, starting YouTube, so it was a really cool interview. I will link it down below um, for those that want to check it out. All right, last piece of sushi. Oh, we can't forget the ginger too. Wow. All right, and now moving on to the cupcake. Look at that thing. It's looking pretty amazing. All right, all right, I won't eat the cherry stem. See, oops, I just dropped it, so that's, I'm not eating that. I know a lot of people kind of freak out when I do, but oh wait, and also, this is the correct way to eat a cupcake. I always like get kind of yelled at, well not yelled at, but like you're eating it wrong, so you're supposed to break it off, put it on top, so. All right, here we go guys. Ooh, that frosting is money. Wow. Mmm. Especially with the yellow cake. I'm team yellow cake, that's for sure. Chocolate, I like chocolate, but I get chocolated out very easily. So yeah, team vanilla all the way. All right, guys, so that is another wicked cheat day in the book. So today was super fun. It was very enjoyable. I did not force feed. It was not a challenge. 
So it was just a full day of enjoyment. So I ate everything I wanted. I didn't overstuff myself and yeah, it was a pretty solid day. So today we did consume 6,495 calories, 315 grams of fat, 756 grams of carbohydrates and 199 grams of protein. So that's pretty much where my cheat days kind of fall, like anywhere from like five to 6,000 calories is typically where they would normally fall. Like before I was like consuming like, you know, 10K every weekend, because I was just like, my capacity was so much higher, my training volume was so much higher as well. So I was just eating more food, I was more hungry. But since I'm consuming more food during the week, so I could try to like increase my performance in the gym, stay more full, like I talked about in the last video, um, it's like I'm not as hungry, but today was definitely a fun and enjoyable day. And be sure to check out the Vita Goods Form Fit Scale. The link will be in the description box down below. It's an amazing scale. I've been using it for about nine months now, so it uh, definitely gets the job done. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.